Before getting started with creating tables and relationships between the tables, the first thing you need to do is create a database. And you can create a database, a brand new one, using the create database statement. And then after you create the database, that's when you can start adding tables to it. And then whenever you need to delete the database, use the drop database statement, which also deletes every table in that database. For example, if you wanted to create a database to hold all your favorite movies, you'd say create database movies, semicolon, and that will create the database for you. Or drop database movies to delete it. And then there's also the show statement, which shows the database developer some useful information about your database table and columns. So show databases will list all available databases, and you can choose which database to use with the use statement. For example, use albums will use the albums database and then show tables will list all the tables in the database that you're currently using there's show columns from table name which lists all the columns of a table where table name is the name of the table and then show create table which shows the create table statement used to create the table and you know well, let's try some of these out in my sql workbench so here we are in MySQL Workbench, and we're going to create some databases, drop databases, and show some databases, and do a few things with tables as well. So first, let's take a look at what databases already exist. So I'm just going to type show databases, semicolon, and run it. By the way, when you're running it to execute the SQL statements, this will run everything on the page, the first lightning bolt, and the lightning bolt with the letter I on it will execute everything on that line where the cursor is and below. So that way you, I can keep all my statements on there so that you guys can see them. So when I ran the statement, we saw that we already have a few databases there already, which MySQL gives to you for free. And you know that's a topic for another discussion. But first, let's create our own database. And we'll do that with create database. Let's call it car. Let's create another database while we're at it. Create database person. And we'll run that. Okay, so it, on the bottom it says that they were car and person were created. Let's show the database. Show databases. Click execute. And now we have car and person in this same list where we had the other tables from before. And let's say I decided I don't need a person database. Let's drop database person we'll run that it looked like it was dropped because it has a little green check mark so that must mean it worked but we'll verify show databases and we have car there now but not person and in order to actually use the database the next thing you got to do is say use car so use the name of the database and when you do that and run it I'm now switched to the car database so now any command I, I do like create table will only affect the car database and let's actually create a quick table in there so to do that let's say create table car and inside this table we'll have ID is a field which is a small int. So it's just going to be a small integer that's going to be used to identify that car. And unsigned, which means that it has to be positive. Also, the, like the model of the car, we can say model and make that a, a var char, which is just characters. Let's just make it like 40 in length and maybe the speed, how fast we're traveling, or you know what, miles per hour. And we'll make that an integer. Okay, let's just keep this super simple. And to run this command, I'll go up here to the line where I want to start running it and click the execute lightning bolt. And it looks like it created it. Let's make sure show tables. 
So there's a table called car. All right, let's add some data in there. Insert into car values. There's the ID, let's just say 100. And it's a Jeep Wrangler. And it's traveling 75 miles an hour. All right, let's run that command. All right, we inserted those values. And here is a quick select statement to verify that those values are in there. Select everything from car. And here's the data. So we have our car table with ID, model, and miles per hour as the columns. And now, you know, if you ever wanted to see the column names, you could do something like this. Show columns from car. And this will show you all the columns that you have in that card table. And by the way, the, I named the database car and also the table car. So uh, I could have named it. I probably should have chose a different name. But just showing you that this is the car table, not the car database. And we're looking at all the columns that are in there. And we can even see how this card table was created by saying show create table car. Run that command. And this shows you the full SQL query that was ran on the on the MySQL engine, which is, tells you that it's using the inodb. And that's what they use to create the card table.